In this video, we're going to cover using Number Pro with Microsoft Publisher. Now, I'm just going to open up my publisher and it takes me to the default templates screen. And I'm going to choose uh, 8.5 by 11. You could choose any size you want. This is just the size I'm going to use. Now, for the sake of this video, I've done two things prior to this. I'm going to lay out a raffle ticket, which I want to number. Now, I've already created the raffle tickets prior to, to uh, starting this video. Now, you can obviously create the, uh, the, the ticket or publication or whatever you're, you're wanting to number in, 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 in uh, Microsoft Publisher. But uh, for the sake of time, I already created it. I'm just going to import it. Now, and the same thing with my, my numbering file. Now, I want to number these tickets 1 through 500. So I've already used Number Pro to create a, a, a file that I'm going to merge into uh, Microsoft Publisher that will allow me to number. Okay. Now, with that being said, as you can see, the default template here has already a uh, half inch uh, margin all the way around it. Now, I already know the dimensions of the ticket that I created, and that ticket is two inches by five and a half inches. So just to help me out, I'm going to move some spacers here two inches apart from my top margin down and I'm going to go all the way down until I have five spaces here and these are just placeholders to give me an idea of what I'm doing. You don't have to do this, this just makes it a lot easier for me and there I have five individual spaces. So now I'm going to insert or import my raffle ticket uh, image so insert picture and I saved it as a JPEG. So I'm just going to find the file that I have this saved in. And there it is and insert. And there it is. Now I'm just going to move this up into place. I'm just going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard, <coughs> excuse me, to put this into place. Now I'm going to copy this and paste it four more times. Now you could just right click, copy, right click again and paste and do this five times and then I'm just using my mouse and then my arrow keys on my keyboard to position this into place. But to speed this up a little bit I'm going to use the keyboard shortcuts which for on a uh, PC is control C for copy and then control V for paste. And I'm just going to grab that pasted document and pull them down into place. And you can see the little red highlights when, it, when they're lined up. Okay, so now I have five of them all in place. And now is what the interesting part with Number Pro is. I'm going to do a merge with the file I created in Number Pro to allow me to do my numbering. So I'm going to go up to do mailings, mail merge, and I'm going to do step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. Now, use an existing list because I've already created it. And then we're going to go down here at the very bottom right-hand side, next or create, connect to recipient list. Now I'm going, the screen, screen opens up here is what I'm going to do is navigate to where I've saved my number pro file and there it is right there. It's, I, it, would, it originally outputted the file as output.txt. I renamed it 1 through 500, 5 up. And that's so I can reuse this file over and over again for any numbering job that I have laid out 5 to a sheet and I want to use the numbering of 1 to 500. So I'm going to click on that and open. Now this screen will open up file text or text file connection parameters. You want to highlight the comma. Hit OK. This screen will open up mail merge recipients. 
and then you'll see that it's going to be five to a sheet. They're going to be laid out on the first sheet, one, 101, 201, 301, 401, and so on and so forth. Now I have this in stacked order, so number one is on the top sheet, number two is directly underneath it on the second sheet, number three is directly under number two on the third sheet, so on and so forth. You got the idea. I'm just going to hit OK. Now, as you can see, you've got five placeholders here on your screen to the right. I'm just going to highlight number one and pull it over onto my document. Now, I'm going to highlight this with my, with my mouse, and I'm just going to change this because I want an 18-point font. And I want red, and I want it to be bold. And let's see what other fonts I can use here. Let's use just for, uh, let's use this one right here. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, that's kind of funky. Um, let's see if I have Helvetica on here. Helvetica World. There we go. That looks okay. Now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move. I also want to highlight that because I also want to center this here. So you can do anything with the, with the, the text, uh, the, 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 the numbering that you want. You can bold it, change the font, change the, uh, the, the color, anything you want. Now as far as this is concerned, I'm just going to click out of it, click on it again, get rid of that little screen there. Oops. There we go. And I'm gonna now I just clicked on that little green button at the top there. And then I'm gonna move it in place. See? Move that little what you uh move your cursor over the little green dot right there, it turns to a I don't know, a circle with an arrow. That'll allow you to reposition the angle of your font or your uh, numbering box any way you want, actually text box. Now, this is the easiest thing that I find to do. Now, obviously, this ticket's going to be number one, number two, number three, number four, number five down here at the bottom. Now, but just bear with me. This is the easiest way I found to do this. This box is already highlighted, as you can see. It's got the, the, the four circles on each corner. I'm just going to, on, like I said, on a PC, I'm going to copy and paste this. Now, um, on a Mac, I'm not sure what the keyboard commands are, but you can also just right-click, copy, right-click, paste. But copy C, copy V, and that'll give me another box. Once I have that box, I'm just going to move it down. You see the dashed line around it. I'm just going to pop that right into place. And then the red arrows show me that I'm lined up. I'm going to keep doing this. Over and over until I have every one done. So give me just a second here. Now this raffle ticket that I have laid out is going to be perforated going to be perforated right here so that uh, um, you can actually have a stub with this. So this numbering job is actually going to have the same number on both ends of the ticket. And bear with me here while I pop these all into place. Publisher is not my, my native program to use as far as everyday use, so bear with me being slow. Didn't it pop into place? There we go. And one more to go. There we go. Now, Obviously, we want this to be number two, 
number three, number four, and number five. So I'm just going to come in here and highlight that, delete it, click number two. Highlight that one, delete it, number three. Highlight it, delete it, number four. All the way down. Now this one's got to be number five as well because it's got to match the other end of that ticket. Number three and number two. And there we have it. We have number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. Now, if we go to our next step, create merged publication, click on it, and our merge is done. Now we can actually go to, we can actually print or do a print preview, which I'm just going to show you a print preview. And there's how it will print. There's number one, number 101, 201, 301, and 401, because as I stated earlier, my number two is going to be on the second sheet right after my number one. If I come down here, and you can see that's prepared 100 sheets, five up for my total of 500, which is what I wanted. If I click on my arrow key for my next one, oops, let's see if we get that to work. Number two, page two, you'll see that number two is there. Click on that again the next sheet and there's number three so on and so forth you can actually have these numbered to where it's number one number two number three number four number five and then the next sheet number six seven eight nine ten but since these are going to be stacked and then cut right along that edge there with my perforation down there I like to have have them in order one after the other so I hope you find this helpful and this is number pro with Microsoft publisher and I hope you enjoyed watching. Thanks.